Every Friday, we have our executive leadership team meeting, and we start that meeting with two rituals. First, everyone shares something that they're grateful for, and then the CEO picks someone to recite our purpose statement, the key results we're trying to achieve for the year and for the quarter, and then our cultural beliefs. There's something really beautiful about having ritual at work. The pace at which we are operating right now is so fast that life becomes a blur. And rituals are like the punctuation marks, the moments that we slow down, that we stop, the insane urgency around all of the work that we're constantly doing and the next fire that needs to be put out. And it's the moment that we can be present. Rituals create connection and they create meaning in the work that you're doing. They nourish our souls, even things as simple as celebrating birthdays at work. They can sometimes feel like distractions from the work that we need to do. But that mentality is what leads to burnout, the kind of mentality that we need to go, 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 push, push, push without ever pausing, without ever looking up at your colleagues and saying, hey, this is a cool journey we're on. Let's keep going. My cousin works at a hospital system, and they have a ritual in which every meeting, someone takes turns leading the centering moment, the moment where they ground themselves in the present. And that can be sharing scripture, or it could be sharing a poem, or it could be just telling a story. Ritual helps create a culture in which employees feel connected to purpose and to each other. I'm curious what other kind of rituals you've seen in your workplaces, so share them in the comments.